Rocket League is not for everyone. You have to really love this game to go beyond the average player and achieve Grand Champ. For some, they get stuck. I want to get one of them unstuck. Welcome to the low rank to Grand Champ series. A few months ago, I started this journey with a guy named Ray. Unfortunately, he couldn't devote the time to the goal and we had to stop the series. The series was beloved by many of you and when it stopped, you demanded that it continue on, but with someone else. For a while, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that. The commitment is large, and I wasn't sure if anyone else could actually handle it. But something inside told me that I should try again with someone new. I put out a Google form where people could apply as the new low rank participant, and then I waited 20 days. 500 plus people submitted an application, way more than I ever could have imagined. Out of those 500 people, a few really stood out. This guy stood out because of his name. I had to do a double take when I opened his video application up. This is my older brother, or at least he has his exact name. Unfortunately, Kyle wasn't exactly what I was looking for, plus I already have an older brother. We also had this amazing application from Aiden. I'll let it play out a little so you can see this masterpiece. I thought the best way was to make a slideshow. As you can see, these are your views and subscribers after, after you pick me. As you can see, they go up. This is everything about me. I don't feel like reading that. I'm tired. I think I spelled experiment wrong. That doesn't look right. Um, Aiden, you spelt it right. And although you make a compelling argument, I'm afraid that my subscriber and view count would go up too high for me to be comfortable with uh, picking you. This application came from a long time subscriber of mine. He's been in a video before and was an instant hit with all of you when that video was released. Maybe some of you will remember him. Hello, Seabell. I am Surgeon Cranky and I am, we can say applying. A lot of people would want the attention. I would rather have the opportunity. His voice is amazing. Honestly, I, I think y'all would only watch the series because of his beautiful voice. I am more on the smart player side of things. His reasonings for wanting to be chosen were valid and he would be a great option. However, there was someone else that I think stood out beyond all the others. I happen to see the tweet that you looking for a new person to be cool to Grand Champ and I have to throw my name in the hat. I have been playing Rocket League since 2016, I believe. I have been grinding to Grand Champ for years now. <laughs> and I don't know if it's something that I'm doing or I'm just not taking the right advice. I had a professional coach and I played Rocket League for like eight hours a day for six months about like straight and the highest I've ever gotten is like plat two, maybe, on threes. This is Emmy. Emmy has been grinding Rocket League since 2016. That's now seven years of trying to get Grand Champ, yet she is hard stuck platinum. She's had to watch her friends surpass her as they've all reached Grand Champ, leaving her in the dust. Emmy has been coached before, but was deemed unteachable and unfixable. Our goal is to change that. Welcome to Emmy's journey to Grand Champion. Hello? Hello. Welcome to possibly the best thing you'll ever do or the worst thing you'll ever do. No, no, no. It's going to be the best thing, 100%. Uh, who, who are you? Like, <laughs> I'm dope. Or as I guess my name is Emmy. I've been playing Rocket League since 2016, I think. And I'm tired of watching all of my friends get up to the high ranks while I'm still stuck in like a gold three peak. But I do have a life outside of Rocket League. I'm like an artist in the Rocket League scene. So usually when I go to like lands and things, I'm there like passing out like stickers and all that. So it's kind of nice to actually put my nose to the game for once. There's going to be people that think that girls don't have the skills. What would you say right now to those people? Um, well, Karma did it. Uh, so there's that. And if she can do it, anybody can <laughs> do it. Girl, I'm not done until I see that GC logo. I don't care. Three years, four years, five years. I don't, I don't care. Whatever. I mean, that's a lot of time. I would hope that we have it. It took me four I mean... years to get out of silver <laughs> about. All right. Maybe I, maybe I chose the wrong person. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Emmy is extremely dedicated to this and will not stop until she gets Grand Champ. The question we still have to answer, however, is why the hell is she still in Platinum or lower after so many years of trying? I need to see what she's doing wrong. First matter of business, the mechanic test. 
before we do any like specific mechanical tests, I just want to like see you go for like a fun shot, whatever feels a right. Fun the, shot? Yeah, you know, just loosen a little the icebreaker, <laughs> if you will, for the series. Like, score the ball, you know, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Uh, we're gonna see if I remember how to dribble. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 what I yeah. That's okay. as mechanical as it gets. We gotta do, we gotta do a checklist here. I, I need to see uh, a half flip. What are we what are we looking like there? Oh my gosh, my friend spent three days trying to teach me it. Okay, 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 I can do this. Uh wait. <laughs> no. Oh no. I honestly per, like for me personally, I didn't learn it until like I was champ. Let's see wave dash. You can do a little wave dash, right? Uh, I'm gonna pretend like I know what that is. I think is that the spinny thing? No, that's not the spinny. No, thing. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you don't know this. I feel like six years of Rocket League, uh, but me. hey, I this know. is fine. <laughs> All right, this is not a great start, but to be honest, wave dashes and half flips are totally not necessary in the lower ranks, and I'm confident that Emmy can learn how to do them quickly. Anyways, the one mechanic that I'm really hoping she can do is aerial. I know a lot of platinum players can aerial pretty well, and if Emmy is even mediocre at it, I'll consider that a win, and that'll help us a lot early on. Oh, and in case you didn't know, this is what a wave dash looks like. It's just a good way to build speed without having to commit any boost. I want to see like your fundamentals on creating like power on the ball. Set it up here and then I'm gonna see it go into orange with as much power as possible. <laughs> Bruh. No. Bruh, 40, 40 KPH? Uh, that is not it. That is not the wave. I mean like cheetahs max out at like 40 KPH, like in real life, so. Let's see some aerials. Um, I'm, let's see. If, I guess you can just like set up an aerial for yourself. Um, honestly, if you want, you can just like fly around the map. I just kind of want to see like general. Yeah, I was like, I don't think I've ever once touched the ball off of a wall or like out of the air other than just like a tap. But like, okay. I used to do this in train or practice all the time, like corner to corner. But I don't have Okay. I know this doesn't look like a lot, but trust me, we can work with this. I'm just happy she is able to keep herself in the air. But this is all actually so exciting to me. Seeing someone who is eager to learn and get better is really all I could ask for in a student, and I can't wait to see her progress and get better. She's such a nice girl too, and you can tell she really wants this. And then I do want to see you just kind of dribble the ball around a little bit. I know the first shot was kind of that, but I, I don't want you to try to score it. Just like dribble it around the, the field here. It's not bad. I, you definitely have like the, the right idea. It's just a little bit of like control, but that will be nice. There you go. That was, that's much better. There we go. There's some dribble time. Nice. Yeah. And with no boost. You just don't need to use boost. That's all. You're better no, at dribbling. No, I know. With no I get boost. in my head about the boost thing. Okay. The dribbling looks all right, too. I feel like Emmy is solidly platinum, at least in my eyes. I'm more worried about the mental game overall, and I'm a big believer that the positional aspect of Rocket League is far more important than pure mechanics. I'm going to give her a 4 out of 10 on mechanics. It needs some work, yes, but I see a lot of potential. Let's Let's all start clapping. Quickly after this mechanic test, I double checked her camera settings and keybinds, which needed very small adjustment. By the way, here are her current ranks. Gold three and threes, plat two and twos, and silver three and ones. Imagine when all of these show grand champ. But our next order of business is to see her play a 2v2 game live. I want to see how she's moving around the field in a real game, and hopefully we'll get a glimpse into her overall game awareness. And guys, what I saw in this game was completely shocking. Back. Oh, wow, we're getting abused. This is, yeah, this is kind of how it goes. Wait. I mean, oh yeah, no, no, everyone that's like, oh, nothing interesting happens in plat. Everyone is aerialing in plat. Why this is this guy hitting a double tap? Because this is what happens in plat in twos. There are what always is, people aerialing what? and like carrying the ball around. It that is a should disaster. Not be ha that actually looks like at least champ level control. Okay, this guy might be smurfing. That that's just unlucky. We're just gonna keep. I just want to keep seeing like. It's not about the win uh, at this point because we're gonna get way better and we're gonna make this uh, weird smurf guy feel bad. This is not a prime example of what the plat lobbies are. Yeah, I mean that guy. I mean he 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 looked pretty platinum right there to be fair. 
Okay, it's a really nice power slide. Okay, now he's... Okay. Okay, Perhaps sir. this is not a good example. <laughs> Why are we doing this in platinum? Who is this, is this a, guy? This is honestly how this goes, though. This is not the like a rarity. Wow. That guy was smurfing so hard. Is this really happening that often in plat lobbies? Can you platinums out there confirm this in the comments, please? We decided that that game was cursed and queued in for another. I really paid attention to her gameplay on this one after we confirmed that this was indeed a pure plat lobby. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's on camera. And me. Uh, my brain went, oh, I can go behind the ball and knock it out. <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> is pissed at you, by the way. Oh my god. Oh, this is madness. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not what flat. You, what are you guys doing? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely seeing um, issues that we can fix quickly, luckily. <laughs> Like own goal. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's one. We don't want to own goal. I carefully studied this replay and noticed a lot of issues. I could easily go into so much detail with her, but I don't want to give her too much information too quickly. I've seen lower ranks try a little too hard to get better at mechanics, but there's usually something else that requires more attention first. As it just so happens for Emmy, the first issue we are going to tackle is something that I bet she has never thought about before. And possibly many of you haven't either. So um, this is a mistake that every low rank player makes, I would say in general. Um, it's almost like you have a trigger finger. If you, if you notice, there's a lot of forward moving with your car just all the time. Uh, so on that shot, and you can keep it in the speed because another one comes up here. You just kept driving and watch this. You're driving, you're driving, you're driving, you're driving, you're boosting, and now oh, you're way I past the ball, completely gone. Anyways, go to go to 100%. Watch how you score this ball and let me let me know if you see like a difference in your just driving. Patience. You see that? Yeah, I stopped for a sec. Emmy plays Rocket League like Nicolas Cage drives his car. <laughs> she doesn't know how to micromanage her speed, making literally everything she does 10 times harder. Let me explain using this shot in a training pack. If I go as fast as possible and unironically try to hit this ball into net, it simply does not work. How platinum does this look? I'm actually trying to place this ball on goal. However, if we can get Emmy to take her time as she closes in on the ball, even tapping the brakes if need be, look how quickly this shot can become higher quality. So before we can have her work on ground to air dribbles and all of that other fancy stuff that platinum players try to do, we need to have her understand that there is a moment of time right before making contact with the ball where it's okay to slow down and hit it with more intention. I, I see what you mean though. I get like excited to go hit the ball and I'm not thinking about, you know, like I'm going past the ball, under the ball, over the ball, everywhere but the ball. I just think that that's something we need to really start to work on quickly because if we don't, you're just gonna like slow down your improvement because you're gonna be going too fast to be able to actually do anything. Training this habit is not as easy as it sounds. I think she's probably gotten a lot of advice in the past about going fast that has created these bad habits. Luckily, I have an idea. I grabbed a standard training pack that had pretty simple shots and instead of driving fast and trying to hit everything with power, I wanted her to take her time like I'm showing on screen now. What this will do is two things. Firstly, it will tackle the issue of constant Constantly holding boost or drive when moving forward. And secondly, it will start to train her on ball and car control and the interaction between the two. If she does this correctly, she may start to accidentally dribble the ball into net. This is just going to teach you a little bit of like car control while braking, because I don't think you've ever thought about controlling your car while having like, while not boosting. And I can already tell that like this is, this is already like a struggle for you. Yeah, I'm like, I, like I know what I'm supposed to do, but, but I, my hands are like, no. I had Emmy drill this for a little longer, and after a fair bit of struggle, I started to see some progress. Yeah, exactly. Very well done. Nice. Yeah, you tunnel, you, you lost it though. You, you just kind of drove on that one. If 
we skip ahead to day four, you can really tell Emmy has improved. The way she's moving toward the ball is much smoother and with way more control than day one. Just look at this difference. I, I think it's pretty night and day to me. I had her spend a few minutes on this training pack every day with the hopes that it would transfer over to a real game, which she has taken upon herself to cue into right after her practice session. Immediately off the rip, she gets a clean save on her goal line. And then later on in the game, she scores an incredible goal from the middle of the field. Just look how much patience she has before she hits this ball. It looks like her training is already paying off. Next episode, we take Emmy into the 1v1 gauntlet. She will play ones until she loses. How far will she get?